Okay, so 2019 is when we got Avengers Endgame. That was like the big call, you know, moment of all these like Marvel movies and Captain America and Iron Man and Black Widow and Hawkeye and the Hulk and all these incredible characters coming together and and Ant-Man and Thanos, the big bad guy, and they save the galaxy and they save the universe and they save everybody and it's and it's amazing. And then where do you go from there? That's the question, right? And so since then, it's been four years since 2019, since Endgame came out. And the MCU has floundered a bit. And by a bit, I mean completely. Uh, Ant-Man was meh. Doctor Strange, I actually really liked. It didn't do super well at the box office. Um, but it was also a bit of a mess, despite my enjoyment of it. Mostly just because it went off the rails in the third act and became very much a Sam Raimi movie, which I appreciated. Uh, they've had various TV shows. They've had She-Hulk. Um, and none of it's worked. Nothing that they've tried since Endgame seems to have worked very much at all. There was a Miss Marvel show. I, I didn't watch it. I haven't watched, I didn't watch Moon Knight. I haven't watched really much of any of them. Um, I did watch Falcon and the Winter, Winter Soldier. I think that's like the last Marvel show I watched because I've just completely lost interest. These movies and shows have really lost me. I think that the writing has taken a significant hit. I think the character development has taken a significant hit. And I think Marvel has become way more interested in panning, pandering to its audience than actually putting out good content and good characters. So um, the Marvels is a continuation of that. This movie sucks in every single aspect. Uh, Brie Larson seems like she doesn't want to be there. Um, none of the other actors seem like they want to be there. Samuel L. Jackson is in the movie clearly just collecting a paycheck. You have a cameo at the very end, which, spoiler alert, leads directly into the X-Men. We're finally getting an X-Men reveal several years after 20th Century Fox was acquired by um, Marvel or by Disney and then kind of rebranded as 20th Century Studios and then they absorbed all these characters into the fold. Um, we did get several X-Men in... Uh, um, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and but but really they've done nothing to introduce um, those those characters into this into this universe, and that's a real shame. And they just kind of ham fistedly stick a major X Men character into the end of this movie in the half in the the mid credit scene, and uh, it doesn't really work either. Um, I don't care about any of the characters in this movie they seem like they actually hate each other. Like you, these characters and these actors in particular seem like they have no uh, chemistry whatsoever. They all seem very unlikable and they seem like that in real life, they actively dislike each other. And you can only, you can almost see it on the screen. There's this scene that's supposed to be like this very emotionally resonant moment between Captain, Captain Marvel and Monica Rambeau. And it's like this, huge important moment for both of them as there's this big revelation and uh and monica has her line which she presents to carol van danvers captain marvel and carol's response is to laugh and chuckle and she does like this kind of slide little laugh and i'm sitting here watching in the movie and i started laughing this is supposed to be the most serious moment in the film and i bust out laughing because it's not a genuine reaction to what the other character is saying to her. And this is not how people ever communicate with each other. And then there's kind of like a little Marvel banner back and forth. And then they just move on and nobody cares. Um, and it's really disappointing because you've had several instances where the Marvel Universe has really gotten it right. I can think of all of the James Gunn movies. Right, I can think of the end of Guardians when Peter Quill is thinking about his mother who he lost to cancer and tears start pouring down his face as he realizes that he has this family around him in the Guardians. And it's like this incredible heartfelt, heartfelt genuine moment. And it's amazing. Uh, all the stuff with Peter's father in the second Guardians. Super well done. Super, it really resonated with me. I loved it. Guardians 3, Rocket's backstory. The emotional, um, the emotional firepower of that scene, of all those scenes, really, 
particu particularly um, several at the very end, are genuine and heartfelt. And nothing in this movie feels heartfelt. Every single moment of this film seems phoned in. And I don't understand why Marvel continues to just get terrible writers. Like Nia, Nia DaCosta should be nowhere near the MCU. And yet they have her helming a movie that is supposed to be like a flagship Marvel film. Right, the Marvel is just combining multiple different characters in the universe to headline this, and it just sucks. It just sucks. None of it makes any sense. It's not any fun. It's not engaging at all. This movie's like an hour and 45 minutes, and all of these movies recently have been much more substantial. There's a lot more bean on the bone, and I just, I, I don't really get what Marvel is doing here. They seem like they've lost their way, and they have no idea to even begin how to write the ship. Uh, I don't know who deserves the blame, but there was a substantial shift in 2019 and particularly in 2020 um, where these movies started getting very political for no reason whatsoever. And thus they've taken a pretty substantial hit financially and deservedly so. Disney has really screwed up with Star Wars. Don't even get me started on Indiana Jones. And what they've done with the MCU is an embarrassment. Apart from Guardians 3, I can't think of one of these movies that I've actually enjoyed. Um, I really, I, I like I said, I did, I did like Doctor Strange. Um, so I guess I would say those two. But I ha there's no anticipation of these movies anymore. I remember when the first trailer dropped for, the, for Captain Marvel, and I was really excited for that movie. That trailer was a banger. Her at the end in space with the helmet, and she's all lit up and is ready to kick ass. Fantastic. And yet these, and that movie, and this movie, and Brie Larson's attitude towards the fan base has cost Marvel, you're, you're talking about billions of dollars here. Because she can't, she can't go out and do a press tour without talking about how much she hates men. <laughs> Like, who do you think your audience is, man? Like, and you think that you think that guys don't enjoy movies with strong female characters? Are you out of your mind? I, Terminator 2, Aliens. I watched True Lies two nights ago. Jamie Lee Curtis in that movie is awesome. She starts off as like this meek, kind of pathetic character and develops into a complete badass by the end of it. And it's great. Um... And, and yet these movies just pander and they're mean-spirited and nasty and they're not fun anymore. You can't sacrifice enjoyment of a film in the name of a message and dumping on half the audience. Sorry, it's not going to work. So Marvel, get it together, figure it out. And it's going to, I don't know what it's going to take. You would think, you would really genuinely think that losing billions of dollars because you can't write a decent character this movie is going to lose a ton of money for marvel this is the worst performance on an opening weekend since the incredible hulk i like the incredible hulk that movie came out freaking forever ago i think that movie came out in that 2008 2009 i mean that movie that movie was the one of the very beginning one of the very first mcu films and this movie isn't even going to come close to making that much. So it's pathetic. They should get it together. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, and thanks for, for checking out the video. I know it's a little bit weird. I'm on the road, um, but not going to miss a video. So thanks so much for checking that out. And I'll see you next Wednesday at 9 a.m.